Well, I'm gathering up some supplies because I want to make something. In um, the newer, nicer RVs, they have these cool, I guess they're called, you know, they're like shades and or not, you know, shades for to get the sun out of your eyes, but also they're privacy shades or you, you can push a button and they'll drop down so far just to keep the sun out of your eyes. Or at the end of the day, when you want privacy, you push a button and drop all the way down and, you know, block all the light and people from seeing in from your big front windshield on your RV. So I've been looking at those things for years. Oh, man, it's very handy. Of course, the RV, RV we have, it's got these small little fold-down shades that really don't do much. and They're never in the right position where you need to be. So I thought, well, I'd like to have one of these, but gosh, they're expensive. Oh, you look these things up, some of the small ones are, you know, like two or $300 just for a little bitty one, but one that goes all the way across, you're looking between five to $700. And I thought, man, that's surely I can make something a lot cheaper than that. So I got to doing a little investigation to see you know the biggest thing is that having that special little electric motor that winds it up and down so of course it's like everything in this world nowadays it's on Amazon and here is the little device this is called a tubular motor right there it is and the one I found is that number there it's an EY 2512 so this little 12 volt motor it also comes with a remote control and you mount this on this little thing right there, you mount that on the dashboard. So I can just reach over and hit hit a button, it'll you know roll it down, roll it up. That should be pretty neat. And you got limit buttons in here, you push, or it's on the back back of the remote actually. You can set the limit of how far it goes up, how far it goes down. It's got a little bit electric motor, I guess small some kind of small gear reduction. Uh, and this piece back here just kind of acts like an idler, it just sits and spins. Where this is the drive shaft and this little rubber piece here and it's it's keyed and then this will fit into your pipe which uh, will fit in here nice and snug and make it make it rotate now first as I was planning this out I said well I'll just get me a piece of PVC because it's designed for inch this is designed for an inch and a quarter pipe so I, was, I just grabbed some PVC but then I got thinking about it because this is going to be wrapped in this black leather material and the heat that gets in the, around that windshield that would probably start sagging over time so then I got to looking trying to find some something metal that would be the same size nice and straight but lightweight so what I tracked down was this uh, inch and a quarter it's a electrical conduit but it's made out of aluminum it's good and strong lightweight straight as an arrow an inch and a quarter so that will fit in there and I'll drive it and you got these little little brackets here which so this this bracket sits here and holds the motor got that up underneath the uh, above the dashboard and then you got this little device and how that works this is I got to do some modification to make this part work because it, it just locks in here then it also acts as an idler it just rotates around and around uh, but the problem I'm having that I got to overcome is this will not fit see it wouldn't fit enough PVC it will not fit into my aluminum pipe and so I don't have much room for error let me see what size this is, is. everything in one hand is not not easy all right come here quit rolling around sit still there we go okay so it's 37 millimeters okay but when I come with this um, 35 millimeters so I got to take about two millimeters off each one of these little wings so I get it down to the right size so it will just snugly fit into this pipe so that's my next little challenge to get that done and then I got to do some careful measurements mount my brackets and money wise it's not that much I think the motor was like 50 bucks I've got this material at Walmart for $19 I think the pipe was 19 bucks, so you know I might be into this for maybe a hundred dollars, and it's a little bit of time. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll work on this. I gotta do, do some measuring, cutting, cutting the pipe, and I'll see how. It okay, goes. I'm down here in my messed up garage. So my dilemma is I don't have a turning lathe, but I need to turn this down about two millimeters, approximately. So I think, well, how am I going to do that without a turning lathe? I need something that spins. Well, I do have a drill, 
but how am I going to chuck that in a great big oh well this thing is so big it's not easy just to hook it up into the drill so I have to get a little more creative with that because I got a half inch drill but this is larger than half inch so I couldn't chuck it up that way so then I said well I'll go smaller so I found this little rubber grommet so I shoved that down in there good and tight just like so okay see it's in there now nice and snug so then I took me a, a little shaft here and that in turn fits on here nice and tight all right so now I got me sort of a turner lathe well get it back in there straight Very cool. All right, now I walked over here to my handy dandy grinder, which works out pretty good. I don't have to turn the grinder on, I just have to put it up against it. And the grinder will slowly eat away at the little plastic fins there. And I'll keep doing that until I get it just right, make it a snug fit. So I'm going to go back to work and do this in a few more minutes and until I get it just the right size I'm, I'm looking for. It. Well, it took about 10 minutes of finesse because you only got one shot at this. If you go too far, you're done. But now it's a nice snug fit. I can push it all the way in. And uh, so just that little grinding wheel worked very well. Turned each one down just a little bit as it spun against the wheel. That's a nice snug fit. So now I can start measuring and cut my pipe and get on to the next stage of this project. Okay, now I'm in the RV. As I was talking about before, see this here, you got this huge window, and that's the only visor you got. And nine times out of the ten, the sun's going to be over here, down here, somewhere just beating you right in the eye. Nothing you can do about it. Just squint and drive. But with this, I will avoid that issue. I got, I'm doing a dry run. I just got my brackets mounted up here. I cut my pipe. 87 and three quarter inches to be exact. I think all it goes all the way over here and it, you see it, it rotates freely. It turns nice and easy. And uh, so now I need to um, hook me up some wires, get me some 12 volts on it and actually test it, make sure it turns like it's supposed to. And then I gotta see about, I haven't, I haven't exactly figured out how I'm going to test the material yet. Maybe maybe some of that good uh, Gorilla tape might be good, but I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a pain to get exactly straight because it's going to, have to be perfect so it rolls up and down straight and don't get squirrely and crazy on me. So that's what we'll figure out This next. is going to be pretty cool. Getting closer now. I've, I've just got it kind of hot wired right now to the fuse box and I've just set my limits because this remote here is programmable. Got buttons on the back so you can program it when it stops and, and at the, going up versus going down. So I program it so I just hit the down button and you watch that because I'm doing just doing a test with a string and a little weight. So I make sure it works properly before I go putting the big leather piece on there. So it's going down, going down. Looky there, looky there. Then it stops right there. Cool. I'm going back up, and there she goes up. Then it'll stop automatically just before that weight gets to the um, aluminum pole. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, back inside the house. I'm just gonna show you this material. This stuff I got it got at uh, Walmart, $19 for this piece. And it's some kind of fake leather material. It definitely will block the sunlight out. No problem. I got my I got my dimensions. So I'm gonna cut it. And then I got that tricky part of trying to get this fastened to that pipe and getting it to roll up and down and not get sideways on me. That's probably gonna be fun. Okay, cool Cool tip I just found out is I got into Sherry's sewing basket because I started to use scissors and I thought, well, there might, might, might be something better because I've seen Sherry use this before, cutting material with it. This cool little device, it's like a 
super sharp pizza cutter. And because um, I, I just had me took my black mark on there after I took my measurements, lay this material under it, made by Fiskers. And you can see what a nice clean edge I got. Just roll it right across. If I if I had used scissors, I probably would have not near as smooth of an edge because every time I stopped taking another bite, there probably would have been a little, little bit of a spot. So it turned out pretty well. So if you're going to cut some leather, that's the trick. Well, here's my strategy. I put just some scotch tape on there just to get me started. And I was looking at my pipe. I think this is extruded aluminum. So there's a little bit of a seam I could follow. So that kind of helped get me a nice straight edge, getting it lined up. And I've already rolled it all the way up and all the way back. It seems to be tracking well. So now I got it close, I'm going to put this Gorilla Tape across it and then take it out to the RV and see how... So I realize I do have a mess, so, but, um, because I haven't got my wires all done yet and got to put the dashboard back together and got, got to get a fuse put in line and all that good stuff, but I just wanted to show you how this works. So let's hit the down button say we're heading out west and the sun's beaming in my eyes. I just hit this button. Well, turn our, turn our remote around the white way. Here we go. Hit that button. Ready? And when I get to the point where the sun's out of my eyes, I, I'll hold it. So, then if I want to take it back up, I just tap it up. And it stops automatically. On its own. And then say at the end of our trip, we pull over and want to get some sleep. I want to block the light, get some privacy. Just hit the down button. And it'll go all the way down and stop on its own. That's a pretty cool mod for a hundred bucks. It goes on down, on down, and stops on its own. Blocks out all the light. Got our privacy. Pretty cool, pretty Well, it's the next day and my little project is finished. I got all my wires, you can see my wires all tucked away. I ran them up and, and behind the cabinetry here and run it over here, tapped it into a 12 volt source that my house batteries are on. And then um, I've also put a two amp fuse on it. That little electric motor inside this thing draws one and a half amps. So my two amp fuse will protect that, protect that circuit. Of course, as a reminder, anytime you run any kind of accessories in your vehicle, RV, car, whatever it is, be sure to fuse that circuit to protect it. Sometimes people just jump off a, a hot wire somewhere and don't protect the wire, protect the circuit, and something gets pinched, you get a short oh, sometime later, and things start melting together, you get a fire, that could just ruin your day. Uh, while I'm up here in this cabinet, I was going to show you something else I did that helps for storage. From the factory, you got this stuff here, it's like cardboard material, and I left this section here because I got a big uh, mess of wires behind it. But on these other sections, you see why I folded it up. And what that does, it gives me so, so much more storage. So I can put that, get that in there and this. See, without that, even this one tote, you can't put it in there and you, you can't close it. There's no storage. Now, I can put the, you know, I, I can make, take advantage of that end cap that's way sticking out there on the fiberglass nose. So I put that there. I still put this, close it up, and get all kinds of storage. Anyway, back to my Okay, so part. here's how it's going to work. So I'm sitting here behind the wheel, going down the highway, and the sun's beaming in my eyes, and the little dinky sun visors aren't doing their job. So I reach, well, I've got my remote control. I left it up here. So I've got it wearing magnet right here to the side. Got easy access as I'm driving down the road. So I just, just tap the down button and let it come down. Once the sun is out of my eyes, tap the stop button so I can keep on driving. Sun's out of my eyes, everything's doing good. And then once we get to our destination and we're going to pull over take a nap, we can just uh, hit the down button. It'll go all the way down, close things up, make everything nice and dark. And then the next morning we go to take off, just hit that button. Let the sun shine in. And back on the road we will be. There we go. This mod mod is done. You have a great day. Make yours today. 
See ya. Bye.